Uh, I think already much has been said uh, by Professor Ramakrishna and Dr. Mohan Rao that what are the issues, what are the aspects with respect to this situation of declining interest in science education. Uh, I, do, I do not want to go into again too many of these uh, things. Just uh, because since we want to interact with you all, uh, I would just throw some uh, aspects which are of concern so that uh, you can think it over and then while we are discussing, uh, we look for some sort of uh, answers for that. See, <clears throat> we have to agree and admit that uh, selection of science is more or less a last option in, in most cases. So that is where I think we, the most, I mean, in the last, I would say several years this has been happening, maybe about, uh, particularly in the last uh, two decades, this has become much more. Uh, see, what happens is, as already mentioned, that most people go for uh, professional courses, and that's how most of the cream goes there. And uh, what really comes to science is somewhere we, we got over the leftovers again. I mean, I'm sorry to say that, but this is what has been happening in most cases. There are a lot of exceptions, no doubt. So, as a result, <clears throat> I think what we are again facing is an issue of quality. See, we many a times we are talking of numbers, quantity and all that, but we have to also see that quality of this has to come in, the, the people getting into science. So this is where I think this is something which we have to address, how to go about on this. Because if we don't get this quality aspect, definitely in the coming generations, what we expect is the children who would again come for science uh, will not be that much interested because some sort of, as also mentioned by Dr. Raghavan, that mediocrity which we'll get into, like including our teachers, the students will never get interested to take up those subjects. This is, I think, is, this is a big concern, what I personally think, because this is what has been happening. When I, when we personally talk to many students, they say that uh, they lose interest because they don't have the right type of teachers. It's not only in school, it, it's, it's at every level. I mean, I'm in fact uh, making this statement because this is a direct aspect which is, I think, hampering our science education. Now, <clears throat> the other aspect which revolves around <clears throat> these uh, children or students at different levels is, as again mentioned by others, it's the lucrativeness and the attractiveness. So you may bring in attractiveness by showing a lot of live demos and things like that. And again, also giving some sort of uh, aspects with respect to lucrativeness. But again, if we talk in principle, I think there have been a lot of PhDs, but again, I don't know, the numbers wise, they say that it's quite good numbers, but how about their employability? This is the right employability. This is where is a concern. Because what we see is, I think in a couple of universities and even colleges, for just two positions or three positions, you have hundreds of applicants, and some, including, I mean, sometimes you have two thousands. That means definitely the type of employability they should get, they're not getting. And this could be again various reasons. As I mentioned, it could be a quality is again an aspect also where we have tried to see that these people got the PhD, but they have not come up to the actual level of what is expected from them. So these are some things which I think need to, I mean, this is, has to come from that grassroots level. What's going wrong in this whole system? I mean, these are some things which I think 
are very, very important to look into the perspectives with respect to getting into science education and also thriving into that, this has to go in a proper manner. And uh, because we are always claiming that we need a large number of PhD students, a large number of, uh, but how far we are able to provide them some sort of reasonably very good jobs. This is again a question. Uh, although the other professionals think they may not be getting into that same profession, but somewhere they do some deviations and find some jobs. I mean, there are again lots of arguments on this, and this, I mean, we can debate on this. Now, I would like uh, to look into some of the improvements what we could uh, look for such a situation. As mentioned, I think, by the speakers yesterday, particularly Balu and others, that uh, popularizing science is something uh, which is really required in a very aggressive manner. And this is to be done, uh, I mean, in the right yes way. Because that is where I think it has, will have an impact. Just popularizing without showing the actual implications at the end of it will not help because what we see is that although some people get aware of this, but they don't look into the real advantages of this. So, so for instance, I would say since I come from a chemistry uh, stream, I could say that chemistry has been, I mean, in very important subject in our day-to-day -day life. I mean, you talk of anything, there is chemistry involved. But we see that, again, a large number of students uh, at various levels, they don't get interested because the way it is taught. It's, it's, it's never attractive for the students. That is where I think a number of students Lot lose this interest to take up uh, this subject. So we, we need to really look into various reforms, what we should do at different as I mean, levels, different aspects, the teaching, and so on. Then another aspect is we need proper rather facilities and centers. Again, it was touched upon by previous speakers like Mohan Rao, that we don't have the right infrastructure in most of the universities and how do we do that is a question where how this would happen who would set right I mean these are some things which we need to look into very seriously then another important thing which I think uh, we mess up is with the selection processes let it be faculty or whatever it is I think this is where our system has not been going well. We, that is where I think we don't get, we don't have the right people to really take up the right job. I mean, this is something which we need to also uh, make it uh, to work in a proper manner. And again, uh, mentioned by uh, Dr. Mohan Rao, Government of India is initiating several programs uh, because Government of India is very serious about encouraging science education and through DST we have this inspire and all related as activities and again awareness of this at various level is something which we have to uh, look into so without uh, I mean taking too much time I would uh, like to end here because uh, this is where I thought I would bring out just some points so that you people can think over and then we could interact on this how to improve certain Thank you. Thank you very much.